If you are looking to get into the cloud space, primarily as a cloud network engineer, then make sure you watch this video till the very end. How's it going guys and welcome to another video. First things first, if you're new to the channel, do hit the like and subscribe button. Getting straight into today's topic, which is around cloud engineering or cloud network engineering and how exactly you can make that transition from being a network engineer ultimately into entering the cloud space. Now, over the last three to four years, the whole cloud term has been booming in the sense that you have a lot of jobs and you have a lot of professionals that are looking to get into the cloud space in different engineering capacities. And cloud network engineering is one of those niche roles. There are multiple ways you can get into cloud network engineering. And one of them is, let's say you're working as a network engineer, you can then look to specialize or transition into cloud network engineering. And for those that are beginners as well, you can look to be a cloud network engineer, but you need to have the right skill set, let's say the right certifications to be able to enter this domain. Before we understand the requirements of a cloud network engineer and what are the things you need to study to get into this domain, let's first understand what is the difference or how exactly did this term cloud come into existence? Trying to keep it very simple and short, you earlier used to have majority of your infrastructure and resources on premise, which means you would have your servers, your applications, databases, etc., sitting in an on premise data center, either in your organization or maybe in a data center somewhere down the road or in another region. What this meant was, was that all your resources were fixed. And if you had to scale your applications or servers, you would then have to go and buy additional hardware. And there was no way to scale back down, let's say if the demand from your server is reduced. And that is exactly where the whole cloud term came into existence. What cloud refers to is that you have these providers, mainly Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Azure, and there are many others that provide servers and resources to you so that you can run your applications, but it's all on a per need basis. What this means is, is that let's say if there is a period where uh, your servers are the busiest, you can automatically scale the resources to go higher. And the moment the need for that has reduced, you can scale back down. So what this does is it helps save you in costs over a whole year. And that is something you couldn't do in an on-premise environment because in an on-premise environment, once you bought the hardware or any resources, that was it. You probably can't go back to the shop and return whatever hard drives or anything that you've purchased from them. So in terms of scalability and costs, this provided a very big advantage. And over the years, the different things that you can do with the whole cloud space has obviously increased and it has become more advanced. And cloud network engineering, as I said earlier as well, is one of the niches within cloud engineering. Now, what exactly does a cloud network engineer do? And the answer is very simple. A cloud network engineer does the same thing that a network engineer would do but there would be a few skills that would probably be added on to cater to the more cloud domain side of things. As part of a cloud network engineer, you need to know how to establish communications between, let's say, an on-premise data center and a cloud environment. Let's say your organization moves most of its resources to the cloud. You need to know how to establish a good network connection between the resources in the cloud and your on-premise environment. Therefore, everything you learn or do as a network engineer, which involves routing, searching, all of this stuff, you just got to know how to do this in the cloud so that you can have full connectivity between your different data centers um, or branch offices along with your cloud environment. Now, speaking about the niche skills that you need to know as a cloud network engineer, they include automation, scripting. You need to know the different cloud services of the cloud provider that you are using. For example, if you're using Amazon Web Services, the services will probably have different names. If you're using Google Cloud, you'll have different names to different services, similarly with Azure. So whichever cloud environment or provider you're working in, as a cloud network engineer, you need to know what are the different services within that cloud environment. Probably not in detail, but just from a perspective of so that you have a good control over 
the whole networking aspect of what you want to do. Hence, I do get a lot of questions from people saying that, you know, I want to be a cloud network engineer. What are things I need to know? And the answer again is very simple. Uh, you need to know basic networking. You need to know how to build networks. You need to know how to establish communication within a network because a cloud environment is very similar to probably what an on-premise environment would be, bar the fact that you can't scale and save costs. But the main establishment of connection between devices, servers, applications, all stays the same. Hence, if you're looking to be a cloud network engineer, I would say your CCNA or your CompTIA Network Plus to get the basic understanding of networking would be vital as well as building labs so that you know you have a good hold over routing, switching, all of these networking concepts. Because as I said, it's pretty much the same. It's just that you're doing all of this stuff in the cloud. Secondly, as mentioned, different cloud providers have different services that they offer. Therefore, it's good to know what these different services do. As a result of this, it's also highly beneficial to get a few basic certifications in related to these different cloud providers. For example, with Amazon Web Services, you can do the cloud practitioner to get an idea of what Amazon Web Services does, what are the different services they offer. Similarly, with Google Cloud, you have their own base level certification. With Azure, you have the AZ900, which gives you a very brief understanding of what are the different services that Azure offers. Security is also a very big part when you want to be a cloud network engineer. Reason being, whenever you have data that is traversing, let's say, from your on-premise environment to the cloud, you need to ensure that it follows the right standards in transit. Uh, the data that's stored in the cloud is following the right standards when it's at rest. All of this stuff, you need to have a good compliance knowledge as well from a cloud perspective when you're performing any sort of cloud networking. Speaking about this from a security perspective, again, you need to know how to configure firewall rules in the cloud so that you just don't give access to anybody to your cloud resources. And that is something you need to know to keep your environment nice and secure in the cloud. Most of the leaders when it comes to cloud technology also provides their own networking specialty certification. For example, Amazon, Google, and Azure have their own network specialty certifications that you can do if you want to be a master when it comes to cloud networking from a perspective of these cloud providers only. Again, these certifications are like a cherry on the top. At the end of the day, your bread and butter is basic and advanced networking that you can get from a CCNA, a CCNP, building labs, etc. And sometimes I see a lot of people look to just dive straight into cloud network engineering without actually even knowing anything about networking. And that is a big no. You need to know what networking is. Only then you can make the next step, which is why uh, more than directly starting as a cloud network engineer, even though you can do it as a beginner, as I said, you just do the certifications I mentioned, you can probably just get started as a cloud network engineer. But I'm a strong advocate of first working as a network engineer, knowing the basis of what networking is, and then look to specialize into cloud networking. So there you go, guys. This was my perspective on cloud network engineering and how you can transition from being a network engineer into a cloud network engineer. If you found this video helpful, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.